Hey everybody, Red here. Today I wanted to talk about the different types of MGTOWs. I've noticed with uh, my involvement with the community and with all the people so far in the MGTOW, like subreddits and in the comments of different MGTOW videos and all the different videos that I've watched, I've noticed that there tend to be about five different categories that MGTOWs usually fall into. Uh, maybe I'm missing a couple. If you guys want to add to it in the comments, I appreciate your input. So, <clears throat> so the first subject I came up on, or the first category that I thought of rather, was the hurt and angry MGTOWs. And these are the guys that uh, maybe they just got out of a really bad divorce, or maybe they've experienced a bad divorce in the past. They've had bad relationships, or maybe they're the guy that came home and found their girlfriend or wife cheating on them with another guy in their own bed or something along those lines. Um, I know there's a there's a lot of reasons and you know sometimes the rage is justified but even so holding on to that that type of anger it only hurts them so I would I would advise those types of MGTOWs to let go of the anger but remember the lesson learned and watch out for the personality traits that were in that woman and watch out for the signs if you are going to ever date again and because uh, you know a lot of people that I notice and a lot of people that come to MGTOW when they first come to it uh, they go for it for a, a couple months they're really strong in it and then they tend to start getting back into dating because the allure of sex and romance is it's of course a, an attractive deal but a lot of them tend to go back to it for a while Maybe they'll they'll have a couple flings. Maybe they'll have another relationship. But I notice that they always come back to it after things go sideways. And then, uh, so that leads me into the, the next category of MGTOWs, which would be the semi-MGTOW or the purple pill guys. And like I just said, you know, those are the type of guys, they know MGTOW, but they still date for whatever reason. Maybe it's because they haven't fully accepted that they can have a life without marriage and still be happy. Or maybe they have their own personal reasons for wanting to still date women. I mean, the the risk is so high of uh, not only contracting STDs, but getting false rape accusations, getting her pregnant, and then having a baby with a woman that you didn't want to have a baby with. There's a lot of risk. So I mean, I just I would advise those type of guys be really careful about what you're doing, <clears throat> and then. Uh, from there, there's the kind of like the confused MGTOWs or like the guys who are new to it. Uh, that would I think I kind of fall into that category because I'm still pretty new to the whole MGTOW philosophy. I've only been following it for about three or four months now, but I noticed that men, the people who fall into this category, they're men that used to catch tens and used to be really good, but maybe they got into a relationship and lost some of their game, or they just don't quite know how to approach women anymore, especially in the the now post Me Too era. Um, maybe they turned to dating apps and didn't really get a lot of good matches, or maybe nothing really panned out to be worthwhile from that. And so they they started turning into MGTOWs and saying, you know, I'm I'm done wasting my time on these dating apps. I'm done wasting my money on these dates with women that have no direction and just nothing's going on for them and all that kind of stuff so I think that's that's another category and then the next category would be the monk mode MGTOWs and these guys are they've just foregone anything having to do with women they avoid them when, whenever possible they've like completely abstained from any sexual relation from women and I think a lot of these guys used to be formerly hurt or angry MGTOWs uh, but maybe the, at this point, you know, they've let go of their rage and they've just learned from it and decided that they don't want to have anything to do with women anymore, which, you know, these guys, when they, when they choose to not do anything with women anymore, they tend to really immerse themselves in their hobbies or their careers, which usually ends up making them just as happy as they would have been otherwise. So more power to these guys. And then there is the last category, which is uh, the well-versed MGTOWs. These are the guys who understand the situation and they understand how things are 
in Western society with as far as the dating field goes these days. But they'll still occasionally have sexual encounters with women, but they do take special steps and be very careful to ensure that they don't get trapped in any sort of false rape accusations where alcohol is involved or anything like that. They don't try to... They don't mingle with women that try and tie them down, or if the woman does try and tie them down, they let them know real quick that they're not up for the bear trap, or they cut it off completely with that woman and move on to the next. Uh, usually a lot of these guys, they'll, they'll have a couple women kind of that are orbiting around them that, you know, they'll, they'll play around with every once in a while, but they'll never really get committed to them, and they like to focus on mostly their careers and their hobbies and just building an ideal life for themselves. So those are the five categories that I came up with. Um, if I if I missed one or if you guys have come up with any other ones, I'd love to hear you guys' suggestions. Um, of course, you know, like I said, I think I fall into the new MGTOWs because I'm still pretty new to the philosophy of it. But how I, I first came to it, you know, like I said, my first video was I just, I wondered why dating apps were so useless and started watching a few videos about MGTOW and I think a lot of people, that's how they first get introduced to it is they just, they get tired of swiping left on all of the whales and all that stuff. But I'll do another video on why all the reasons, in my opinion, dating apps suck and I'll, I'll upload that sometime, but... Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, again, if you guys have any input, I'd love to hear it. But thank you for taking your red pill reality check, and stay away from those goddamn blue pills. <laughs> have a good one.